In this video, we'll look at how to increment a variable with Python. So what does that mean? Let's look at a variable that would be a number, like a is equal to, let's say age is equal to 20, like we had before. Now, maybe I would like to add one to this specific variable. I would want to do something like this. Age is equal to age plus one like that, and now age is equal to 21. So in many languages, you can do this. You would write age plus plus, and this would add one to age. So in Python, this do not exist. You cannot do that. What you can do, the shortest thing you can do would be this, plus equal one. When I do this, it's kind of weird, still it works. So what is age now? Well, age is 22, why? Well, because we add one several times, right? So if I just start from scratch and I say, okay, I'll, I'll rerun age with 20, I just delete those cells, and age is equal to 20. Now, what is age plus equal one? I'll print age. It's 21. So what does it mean? This is the, addition assignment. So it's not real incrementation, but that's what we have as a nearest. And it also exists in other languages, just in Python we got only this. So look at this. What it means is age will be the same it was before, plus the number I add here, right? So age will be what it was, plus one. So we can do that with more numbers, with different numbers. So for instance, if I start age here, and I say age is equal to 20, then age plus one, I got everything in one cell, so it's easier, 20. Okay, now what if I had but a five here, 25. Basically I'm saying, hey, to this variable that you already, you already defined, already has a value, you will add this number. So I could do it several times. If I do it twice, then it's 30 because I added five twice. Now, it works with plus, with the addition, but it works also with all the other operators. So let's look at minus. If I do this, I'm reducing five from the value that age had, which make it 15. I can do the same with multiplication. So it starts to be more interesting and I will change more. So what am I doing here? I'm saying, hey, age is, this is 20 and now I will multiply the value that age had by five, so it's gonna be 100, right? So it's a way to transform a variable without having to rewrite exactly the same. Just to make sure, look, this means exactly the same as age equal what age, age was multiply by five, right? So those two lines mean the same. But one is way faster to write and faster to read. So that's what I wanted to show you here. You can do the same also with division. You can say you'll have age and you'll, divi you'll divide it by this number, I'll change the number, and it says 10. Why? Well, because I had 20 and I'm saying age should now be divided by two, right? Again, it says it's the same as age equal age divided by two. Those two lines are the same, right? And why does it uh, give us a zero here, 10.0? So you might remember from the float, int and float uh, course video, that it means that it's a float, right? Because there's a division, then now it's a float. But that's it. Technically, that's what I wanted you to know from this video, because we'll use this in some of the loop we'll see just next. So that's it for today.